Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. This is This Week in Nintendo News. I'm your host, Bastion, and I just got back from my camping trip, and it was pretty awesome. Uh, let's get to those top stories. Just like usual, we've got a few Zelda stories left over from This Week in Zelda News. Um, before we get to the Nintendo-specific stories, uh, first up is this pretty amusing comic about the Deku Tree and just how irrational it sort of is that Link's mother would leave him in care of a tree. Uh, pretty humorous. If you can't read it because it's probably a little small, uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description down below and that will take you to a full-size version. Speaking of comics, there's an amazing uh, comic artist person named Zach Gorman who's done quite a few other Zelda comics, and his style is very different than your usual comic style. For instance, it's not uh, attempting to be humorous, it's uh, kind of poignant comics, and uh, he's at it again with another really awesome comic. It's sort of like an, the intro story to A Link to the Past and just how how kind of somber that really is. And he conveys that perfectly. Definitely check that out. And our next story is about a card found on Etsy and the front of it is just the old man from the very beginning of The Legend of Zelda saying it's dangerous to go alone. And then you open the card up and it's Link and Zelda or I think it's just Link, actually. Let's take a look. I'm just pretending I can't actually see it. Yeah, it's Link holding up a heart container, and it says, take this. Now, that's really awesome, but I swear to God, this Etsy artist must have copied uh, this very video from a few weeks ago where I showed you this amazing card that somebody had made for me. Which I kind of think is uh, is a much better card anyway, because it's a little more artistic and and stuff. And I'm not really accusing them of copying, because it's probably not so likely that that Etsy artist saw this uh, this particular video. But I mean, very similar ideas. Next up is a new game called Seedling. And uh, it's meant just for, a, it's like a flash game, I think, and it's playable in your browser. But it is definitely inspired by old school Zelda. In fact, I almost feel like it's, it's a Zelda clone. Um, I have only played a little bit of it, and it definitely feels very Zelda-like. The graphics are very Zelda-like. Um, the gameplay is very Zelda-like. I think I'll probably end up doing a Games Like Zelda episode about it at some point, once I've uh, finished it. Um, but it's really awesome, actually, and uh, it seems like the creator made an attempt to sort of find some interesting middle ground between 8-bit and 16-bit. It's not quite as 16-bit uh, lush as Link to the Past, and the music is definitely more 8-bit and awesome. Um, but if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check it out. So that's it for the Zelda news aspect, now let's get into the Nintendo-specific stuff. First up is uh, pretty amusing. There's a store, a chain of stores in my area, and probably in most areas on the west coast and, and maybe elsewhere called Fred Meyer. Um, I think they're also Kroger, they're known as Kroger elsewhere. But uh, anyways, they have this advertisement that's a whole bunch of coupons, that's like, you know, 20% off of blah blah blah, and in the fine print, they and this is only available, by the way, uh, through the 18th of this month, I think, or something like that, and in the fine print, they specify that it's not valid for the Wii U, which everybody is saying isn't coming out till November, but maybe Fred Meyer knows something we don't, and the Wii U is coming out next week? Really doubt it, but uh, it's just kind of amusing that they would specify that the coupon's not valid for something that won't even be available for a few more months, so... Hmm. And then our final story is, uh, again, about the Wii U, and it's that pre-orders are now being taken for faceplates for the gamepad. So that's something Nintendo hasn't yet told us, is that apparently you'll be able to put different faceplates on your gamepad to sort of personalize it. Uh, the funny thing, though, about the pre-order site is that there's no image available, so they're taking pre-orders on faceplates that you don't even know what they're going to look like yet. I don't really see the point, but uh, anyways, that's it for this week in uh, Nintendo News, or maybe I should start calling it Zelda News. I'll see you for this week in Zelda News on Friday. Bye!